On October 19, 2014, four-time K1 Grand Prix champion Ernesto Hust had his last fight, defeating three-time K1 champion Peter Ertz. In 33 years of his professional career, Hust managed to hold 121 fights, defeating 99 fighters from all over the world. It was Hust who became the first four-time K1 Grand Prix champion, defeating such legends as Mirko Krokop, Mike Bernardo, Francisco Filio, Jerome LeBanner, and many other famous fighters. For his manner of fighting and honed combat skills, Hoost received the nickname Mr. Perfect. And if you ask how Hoost was able to achieve such great success in the professional ring, then I will answer you, Hoost has always been able to draw conclusions after defeats in his fights, defeating most of his rivals to whom he lost in the past. Today we will remember five defeats in Ernesto Hoost's career, which only made him stronger. Make yourself a cup of tea, sit back and get ready to watch this video. The First Fight Ernesto Hust vs. Branko Sikatic. K1 Grand Prix 93, Final Fight. On April 30, 1993, Ernesto Hust took part in the K1 Grand Prix 93 final. Having defeated Peter Ertz in the quarterfinals, and Maurice Smith in the semifinals, Hust ended up in the final in a fight against a 38-year-old native of Croatia, Branko Sikatic. It would seem that it would not be difficult for a young and full of strength Hust to defeat such an age-old opponent. However, Branko caught Hust by mistake already in the first round, knocking out his opponent after another exchange with a right cross. <laughs> that evening, Branko entered the world history of kickboxing, becoming the first K1 Grand Prix champion at the age of 38. The second fight Ernesto Hust vs. Branko Sikatic. K1 Legend. On December 10, 1994, at the K1 Legend Tournament, a rematch took place between Ernesto Hust and the first K1 Grand Prix champion Branko Sikatic, who was already 40 years old at the time of the fight. Prior to the second bout with Branko, Ernesto led a winning streak of 11 consecutive victories, knocking out almost all opponents. The second fight with Branko again became a stumbling block for Ernesto. The Croat knocked out Hust in the two round with a heavy right hook. The third fight. Ernesto Hust vs. Jerome LeBanner, K1 Star Wars 96. On October 18, 1996, Ernesto Hust again suffered an annoying defeat at the next K1 tournament with the hilarious name Star Wars. This time, the offender of Mr. Perfect was a fighter from France, Jerome LeBanner, with whom Hust later met in the ring three more times. During the first fight with LeBanner, Hust fell on the floor of the ring, repeatedly losing his balance from the attacking pressure of his opponent. It was inconvenient for Hoos to work with LeBanner, which had a left-hand stand, the right low kicks of Mr. Perfect applied to the Frenchman's left thigh did not have the proper holding effect. Jerome, who did not pay attention to the attacks from Mr. Perfect, was able to send his opponent into a severe knockdown with a right hook. Hoos, who barely got to his feet under the count of the referee, who did not stop the fight, again found himself under a hail of blows from the Frenchman, missing the second right hook in exchange. Hoos finds the strength to get back on his feet but Ernesto's corners decided to stop this beating by throwing a towel into the ring. The referee stopped the fight, awarding the victory to the unstoppable Jerome LeBanner. In the future, Hoost was able to take revenge on his French opponent for this defeat, taking away from him the opportunity to win the champion's belt in the finals of the K1 World Grand Prix 2002 tournament. The fourth fight. Ernesto Hoost vs. Francisco Filio. K1 Revenge 99. On April 25, 1999 Ernesto Hust fought with one of the best representatives of Kyokushin Karate Francisco Filio, who knocked out the legendary Andy Hogue twice. This fight can be called a confrontation of the Dutch kickboxing school against the Brazilian Kyokushin Karate school. Hust perfectly understood who he would be dealing with in the ring, and therefore was extremely careful in the fight against Filio. Filio also did not escalate the situation, fearing to miss a blow from the holder of the K1 Grand Prix champion belt in 1997. The fighters exchanged blows until the middle of the first round, after which Filio suddenly exploded with a series of blows, driving Hust into a corner. In the corner, Hust missed a further series of heavy blows and collapsed on the ring floor. The referee immediately stopped the fight, awarding the victory to Francisco Filio. A year later, Hust was able to avenge the defeat by defeating the Brazilian on points. 
The fifth fight. Ernesto Hust vs. Bob Sapp. K1 World Grand Prix 2002 Final Elimination. On October 5, 2002, the leadership of K1 held a duel that turned upside down all the usual ideas about fights between professional fighters and representatives of another sport. Many fans of martial arts and power sports have asked themselves, will strongman be able to defeat a professional fighter? And a man like Bob Sapp, 2 meters tall and weighed 160 kilograms, gave an exhaustive answer to this question. Two months later, Sapp repeated his success, again shocking K1 fans who firmly believed that the first defeat of Hoos to Sapp was an happenstance. In the future, the organizers of K1 did not hold a third duel between the fighters. However, the audience still saw their third staged wrestling match, in which Hoos will hit Sapp on the head with a folding chair. You were on the Pro Fight channel, where you saw the top 5 defeats of one of the best fighters in the history of K1, and if you like this video, then like and subscribe to the channel. Good luck.